Kuala BJJ, Learning and Teaching Jiu Jitsu, and today we are going to talk about a very fundamental idea. Uh, many students ask me about do you need to drill both sides when you learn a new move or one side? Many teachers have many different opinions. I want to share mine, but again, if your teacher has a different view, nothing wrong with it. I will argue first and most important always drill one side when you learn a move. Before you think, do I need this move on both sides? When you just encounter a new move, always learn it on one side. And why? Because you want to reduce the noise. You want to reduce the problem that you have. And if you just, for the first time, were introduced to this, I don't know, great butterfly sweep. There's a lot of details. This arm will pull, this arm will push, control the elbow, move your hip closer, and so many, many details. You need to look here, you need to fall there, I don't know. You will not remember everything. When you try to, to do it, your body will feel differently. You will not understand where the push and where the pull and so on. So walk only on one side. Improve on your best side. So usually you have one arm that is stronger. Maybe the same leg will be stronger. Not always. In my case, I have a stronger right arm and a strong left leg. So every new move that I, that I want to learn, I try to understand where it will be easier to learn it and start working there. And in the beginning, and it will be a week, two weeks, 200 repetitions, I don't know, depending on the drill, I will end only on one side. Until I fully understand everything, I understand where I pull, where I push, where my balance should be, where, how to use my weight. Maybe even execute it a few times in a row. When I feel that I understand the move, then I will try to think, do I need to transfer to the other side? So let's say I learned a, a butterfly sweep. Got it with my left leg, great, I can sweep. Now I need to think, oh, should I do it also on the other side? And here the question is, is really a tactical question. I need to be able to answer every dilemma that my opponent gives to me on both sides. If I have to escape from side control, it can be on my left side or on my right side. So I need to be, have an answer to both questions. But it doesn't have to be the same answer. If I just walk, on, on, a, on a way to escape side control and get to a half guard, my right half guard is great. So if he's controlling me from, from the right side, I will try to, to re-guard and get half guard with my right leg um, in his half, right? Because I have a great attack from there. But if he's on my, on my left side in side control, maybe I'll try to bump him. Maybe I'll try to establish full guard. Maybe I'll try to push him into an open guard because I don't like to play a half guard with my left, right? So I have answer to both sides, but different one, because my rest of the game is not symmetrical and it's fine, right? So if I learn a new way to escape side control, maybe I will work on it at the end on both sides and maybe not, depending on the rest of the game. I will always start with one side, learning it full, understanding to top to bottom, on one side, and then I will think, do I need it on the other side, yes or no? Does it connect to my other move? Will it bring me to a good position? Right? And this is especially relevant to a text that I choose the side. If I'm going to pass someone guard, I don't know, using an X pass, I choose how to enter. So, I can always enter to my strongest side. I will always enter with my right and go for an X pass on my right. Right? In higher level, maybe I'm going to use the, the X-Pass to the left, but never as a first move. I will go to an X-Pass with my right, it will block me, I will try a knee cut, it will block me, and go to an to, uh, X-Pass to my left. Makes sense. But there's no reason to walk on both sides from the beginning, right? And there's no reason to start to the left. You can say, you, you I don't know, you're faking, yeah. I don't really believe in all of those concepts. Go to your best move. If you're going to throw an armbar from, from, from mount, you choose which elbow you're going to attack. So there's no reason to attack both of them. Choose which elbow you want to attack. If, if, it's, if you're starting from for a symmetrical mount, if you, start, if you fake a choke, if you start a choke, don't fake a choke. If you start a choke, you defend, give you the armbar, great. So you need to know both of them as a sequence, as, as uh, a trigger after you defend a choke. It's different, right? Move that you start from a natural position and choose the side, always walk on one side. Now, there are a few exceptions. 
first of all, we want to improve our coordination. We are athletes. So walking on both sides will give you some benefit, benefit on, on, on coordination and so on. So I will argue in the beginning, as a white belt, always walk on one side, right? Understand, uh, understand every move on one side. If it's a very basic move like escaping, I don't know, uh, side control, transfer to the other side after a few classes. But focus on your best side. Around two years, three years, when you're a blue belt, try to add more move, especially to enhance your coordination, to be more of an athlete, to be able to use both, of, both your hand and legs uh, equally. But from the tactical uh, viewpoints, always know what your best move and work only on them. There's no reason to spend, you know, you, you double your effort. If I will always use my X pass with my right, then why do you spend half my time trying to walk you on my left? It's better to be really good at one move than uh, medium at two, right? So learn one side and, and be great. Um, again, this is my viewpoint. Uh, maybe you did you think otherwise, but I will emphasize the first idea. Even if you want to walk on both sides, when you learn from the pedagogical viewpoints, whenever you learn a new move for the first time, second, and even two or three weeks later, for the first few hundred reels, walk only on one side. Let your body feel the weight. Let you understand the, the, the push and pull effects. Where my, my, my head should be. Where do I have to look when I go for the sweep? And so on and so on. Learn and move on one side. When you're proficient, when you feel good, when you can execute it freely, then you can decide to move to the other side. That's it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Think about it. Sorry for my accent. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps you to have a communication and dialogue. Whenever someone sends me an email or, or post a question on, on, on the comments, I, I'm so happy. So, if you enjoyed, please write a short comment. It's It's... The reason I do it, uh, have a great day, day, enjoy your journey, Rus.